Hey Siri. Can you say hi to YouTube? Okay, I found something on the web. Take a look. Um, yeah, maybe not. Back in 2013, Apple introduced its update to its then dull mobile operating system with iOS 7. And the feedback on that operating system was quite good. But there were a few little things that still weren't in the operating system yet that were on other platforms like Android. Now, a year later, on June 2nd, 2014, Apple took that feedback and had some very useful features in its newest mobile operating system, iOS 8. So, like last year in my iOS 7 demo video, I definitely thought I should do a video on iOS 8. So, let's get started. Turning on iOS 8 for the first time, you'll notice that it looks very similar to iOS 7. There are a couple of changes in the UI, though, which include a nicely redesigned control center bar compared to the old iOS 7 one, a toggle for protective text in the keyboard settings, a weird tips application which gives you tips, and loads more. There is also new wallpapers which look pretty nice to be honest with you. I like the earth uh, wallpaper. I mean it looks pretty cool to be honest. In practice, they didn't really change the design too much this time around, offering the same flat interface as, as last year with some tweaks, but it's still better than the dull iOS 6. I mean, come on, who can beat that? Now, there are a couple of quite needed features in this new release, one of which is quick reply for messages. Now, this is a feature that jailbreakers in the past have done, and is also a feature that has been featured on the Mac for quite a while now but is now been integrated into the operating system, which is a good thing. Yay! You can simply swipe down from the notification and the text field and keyboard will pop up, meaning that you can reply to the message without leaving the application, which I think is a very useful feature. Another new nifty feature of iOS 8 is QuickType, which, in its name, will try to suggest words lo logically on top of the keyboard to help people type a bit faster. Also, over time, it will learn that type of language you use to make it a bit more reliable. Now, this is a feature that Android has had for quite a while now, and it's good to, and it's good to see that Apple has added this feature. Speaking of messaging, Apple has taken its cue from WhatsApp and added a voice recording feature directly within the messaging app, simply by holding down the microphone icon to record a message. And from there, you can swipe to the left to delete the audio, or swipe up to send it. The next features are some that have been seen on other platforms for ages, but never added to iOS. And that is um, third-party keyboards, widgets, and system-wide app integration for developers. As to third-party keyboards, the ones that we have seen so far as of recording this video are SwiftKey, Swipe, Minim, FlexKey, and PopKey. I couldn't test all of them since some weren't even released yet. I did, however, get to test Flexi, which is a nice customizable keyboard and you can change the colors and everything. But it did feel a bit weird to type on on first use. The most interesting to me, I think, is the third party widgets in the notification center. It's a feature that lots of people have enjoyed on Android with quick, useful information without jumping into the app itself. And the fact is, in the notification sensor and not on the home screen is also interesting. The iOS approach is definitely usable with only a couple of apps supported at the time of recording like Yahoo Weather which gives you weather information and also a nice image to go with the current weather and location. Cool. System-wide app integration is pretty straightforward meaning all you have to do is tap the share icon on the app you're using, tap more and then you can enable the apps you want to use for sharing and should work easily from there. Now there is a section in the app store which has the apps that support um, iOS 8 including ones with notification center widget support and system wide app integration support. Moving on to some other features another interesting one which you saw at the beginning of this video is the fact that Siri is always listening to your voice when the device is plugged in 
simply saying, Hey Siri, will then activate commands on your request without touching your device. Which is handy if you're travelling in the car and want to send a tweet without touching your phone. Which some of us have obviously seen before, haven't we? Okay Google, what is the weather like? And also, Siri has full Shazam integration, allowing you to ask her what song is playing in the background. That's pretty nice. You seem to be listening to Sing About Me, I'm Dying of Thirst by Kendrick Lamar. This one always gets stuck in my head. Oh, really, Siri? Getting stuck in your head? Looks like you got it right. Finally, the last feature I'll talk about is the frequent contacts in the multitasking switcher. It's an interesting way to make the multitasking switcher that took too much of the user interface up on iOS 7 look more useful. It's definitely nice to have quick access to your favourite contacts in an emergency or something like that. Wrapping things up on the whole, I think that iOS A is definitely going in the right direction for Apple, with features that were badly needed, I mean, literally, in the iOS platform. And it's good that Apple has finally adopted these features. However, if you're expecting a new revamped interface, unfortunately, you're going to have to wait until iOS 9, I'm afraid, for that to happen. But on the whole, iOS 8 is a pretty useful update to all the iDevice users, iPod, iPads, iPhones, how many eyes can I think of? <laughs> and it will for sure run well on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. If you liked the video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me in the future. You can also find me on Twitter where I tweet stuff. Um, yeah, stuff. And also my Instagram where I post pictures of more stuff. Loads of stuff. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we I will see you next time in my next video. Bye. So I'll try and talk normally as best as I can. Bye. Done, 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 and done. Done and done and done. Yay. Yay. Goodbye. And I'm I'm going to stop recording now. <laughs>